Eastern, Texas A&M, one-and-a-half point dogs versus Nebraska, 147-and-a-half right now on the Wager Talk odd screen. Joe, I'm going to kick it back to you. Here's a Nebraska team that beat K-State uh, before conference play, tied up at half, had a monster second half, and kind of got their way with an Illinois team here late. I'm trying to figure them out, though. It's not that they've been wildly inconsistent. It's just that almost like they've been flying under the radar. Then A&M kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, losing as short favorites a couple of times at home in games where I thought they should have won. I'm not going to get to the window, but I need a little bit more synopsis on why Nebraska is a one-point favorite here. Yeah, so, you know, first of all, uh, kudos to Texas A&M and, uh, and Buzz Williams, who, by the way, has one of the uh, worst records in uh, when it comes to tournament time. Just throwing that out there for you. Uh, but A&M, uh, you know, it's funny. Buzz Williams' teams have always been about rebounding, playing defense, you know, slow, making the extra pass, slowing it down, and... I love the fact that Buzz Williams realized about a little over a month ago, Kel, down the stretch that, well, this ain't going to work. We're not going to win any games in the SEC if we continue to try to play that. So when you have a stud guard like Wade Taylor, uh, and he is one of the most experienced guards in the country, and he's also one of the most prolific scorers in the country, well, then what did you do? Well, then you go, you know what, the hell with that. Yes, we want to get back and play defense. Yes, we want to get some rebounds. But ultimately, he took the handcuffs off him and let him go. And as you can tell, the scoring for Texas A&M down the stretch was not what we were used to seeing. They let it fly, especially Wade Taylor, especially from three. So they are now playing much more of a game that Fred Hoiberg and Nebraska likes to play, which is going to be definitely up-tempo, which is going to be all about chucking it up, getting the threes here. And that's exactly why I'm looking at the total in this game. 147 and a half. But with the adjustments AM has made down the stretch, we know Hoiberg and Nebraska are going to want to get out there. They're going to want to go, 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 go. They will. Uh, and Texas AM shooting a high percentage of threes now this year. Uh, by all means, I think this thing lands in the 150s. I don't think. This is going to be a rock fight in any way, shape, or form. I definitely think this is going to be a fun one, but do not look for Texas A&M to be that old slow rock fight. You know, let's slow it down. Let's wait until there's one second left. No, no, no. They, they're going to chuck up some threes, and this one could be one of the higher scoring games on Friday. Chucking up threes. That is interesting. I am not a big totals better, as everybody knows. But that one hmm, kind of got my mind 